Welcome! Today's video is Etsy Shop Reviews. This is a follow-up to a video that came out several weeks ago where I offered to help if you have an Etsy shop and you're wanting to increase your sales or start getting more traffic through your Etsy store. I'm going to give some tips on specific shops that left their shop names on that video. And I'll go through each one, uh, you know, seeing where you've made good progress and maybe where there's still room for improvement. So let's begin. All right, we're gonna start by looking at Wolf Jaw Forge. It says it's handcrafted metalwork in England. So looking here at your information, it says you have 14 sales so far, and you've been on Etsy since 2016. So that's good, you've got more than your first 10 sales. That is helpful when attracting new customers. They can see what you have, you know, that you've been active and you've been at this a bit. So that's a real good sign. Looking here at what you have sold, showing there's an iron nail, some troll crosses, a wall hook, a bottle opener, some unicorn shoes, a cross, another bottle opener. So good. Some of these items are selling repeatedly, which is a great, uh, it's great when you have that happen. You can use that to your advantage by making variations of those items and like different colorations or different sizes and make a separate listing for each of those. Um, if, you were, if you wanted to do different sizes, perhaps you would do that as a variation within the listing and then offer different coloring options such as brass brushed and like a brightened steel one and make those whole separate listings. And that just helps draw the extra traffic and attention there. Going back to your shop page, look here some more and see what we have. So you've got a decent amount of items and that's good. That's off to a great start. I would still continue adding several items a week if you're able to. Try to set yourself a goal and go for that. I noticed here that a lot of your backgrounds have the light uh, tan or white colored fur. That is a nice tie together for your shop. I would look for some of them such as this one here. I think um, you need a little bit better lighting for that one so you can see it a little better. But looking at one of your listings, um, your prices by the way look very reasonable. And looking through the listings here, you've used uh, as many mo photographs as you can which is good. This one's a little blurry uh, so I'd replace that with a different one if you can get that same shot without it being blurry. So that would be good there. Um, as far as the quantity of photos, you're doing great. I like how you have a scene set up there with this this rose sculpture and that's really nice. Uh, also you offer, I see here how, that you offer the different color options which is that's a really nice thing to offer. Um, it can attract additional buyers that way when they can customize, get further customizations. Going down and looking at your tags, you've used, looks like you've used all the tags that you're able to and you have the different, you have the different words in there where you're kind of using rose and flower and different combinations and, um, and uh, let's see, anniversary gift, that's a good one to use too. So your tags look pretty good. One thing I would recommend is going up to the title here, the title for this, you put raw iron rose sculpture. So what I would do, I would, I personally like to use more my title. They allow you more characters. So you can either do that by putting um, like forward slashes or, or stars between it. And I know some people like to keep their titles clean and simple, but the where you get to enter the title is a it is a big search engine optimization thing. If you're able to add more keyword phrases up there, so I would perhaps put like a forward slash and then be like hand forged hand forged rose, then another forward slash um, forged iron rose sculpture or just kind of a, a couple of different combinations or some of those other words that you have down there in the tags and that'll help 
get this viewed even more frequently. So overall, you're doing a great job as far as the quantity and your descriptions are great. Again, I would consider with the title, doing a bit longer of a title with some more of your keywords and the items that are selling well for you, go ahead and make some more variations of that. So consider doing those things and let me know down in the comments after a couple of weeks if any of those worked for you. All right, next we're looking at Mark's Metalworks shop. Now he's had 18 sales and been on here since 2017. Now right off the bat, I would say that you need to go ahead and add a shop photograph and also a photograph of yourself. That would be good to go ahead and have that part to completion. It shows that you have 18 sales and that you've joined this year. So congratulations, you're off to a good start. Looking at your items here, I see that your S hooks are selling well. Your heart items, those are selling well. Your wall mounted plant hanger, you sold a couple of those. And again, your hearts are selling real, real well. The horseshoe ones with the horse head and just your regular ones. So that's good. What you'll wanna do is maybe offer some more similar products with hearts on it if you can. Things with heart handles or even just take your horseshoe hearts that you have there and offer different finishes on them and make those separate listings like brass brushed or just a brushed steel that's brightened in color. Now going to your items page and looking, it says you have 12 items. So that's enough to start with, but I would keep adding more items every week and just keep bringing up that amount. Now looking over your prices, your prices are very reasonable. You're doing good there. And also your, um, your titles, your titles are fantastic. It looks like you've used the whole amount of space that you're allotted and you're using some of your different tags up there as well. So that's great. That's gonna help you get found in search. Here you have two photographs. If you could, I would try to add a few more. Uh, it's, it's good to try to use at least five, even on items that don't seem like they have that many angles. Just try using them in different settings, uh, maybe different backgrounds, that kind of thing. Going down here, it looks like you've used all your tags. Uh, you've got horseshoe heart, horseshoe barn, farrier. Um, I see you put horseshoe together, good, that's great. You're doing a bunch of, um, you're doing fantastic with your tags as well there. And then um, one other thing I did wanna note, for your background, now you're try trying to tie it together with one common theme, which is good. I would actually suggest a different background for you though. And I would do something like a brushed steel, like a brushed piece of steel and just kind of, um, with maybe like a matte spray on it so that it's not shiny. But I think that that would build more value into your items if you were to do that. And go ahead and get all new photographs um, for your items. But as far as the layout of your photographs, they look great. You have, you've got the right distance from the items and it's close enough, you can see the details, um, but still, you know, you can still see the whole piece on there. So that's, that's really good. And make sure you're renewing your all your items at least once a week so that you're getting helping getting that traffic and keeping it up there. So let's go to the next shop. All right, now we're looking at the Osley Blacksmith located in Idaho. So far, he's had some, 10 sales since 2015. Let's go ahead and look at the sales that they've had and see what they are. So you've sold quite a few of these wreaths and also some horseshoe crosses and a couple of your horseshoe candle holders and even a horseshoe wine rack. The items that you're selling multiples of, like the holiday wreaths, try to come up with a variation of that, whether it's a different color or a different size and make additional listings from that. You can also do the same thing with your horseshoe cross. Now I noticed that a lot of your items are either made from horseshoes or horseshoe nails, which is kind of, that's kind of a neat niche that you can work with. Uh, I like the pumpkin, that's cute. I would say though with only 
10 items in your shop that you still need to keep adding to that. Uh, the heart pendant, that's neat. It can be kind of tough to break into jewelry though but with so many jewelry makers out there. And I do like the yeah. like of the, the Christmas ornament too. Uh, additionally, it looks like your titles could be a little longer as you only have one phrase up there. You have the different quantities that you can select from and you've got two photographs which is about all you can really show for that size of a project. Uh, going down and looking at your tags, it looks like there's still space for a few more tags so I would try to use those up as you're able to. Um, you've got quite a bit going around ornament, ornament and accents, ornaments, country ornaments, so that's good. Uh, maybe some more about Christmas, you could add a few more tags in there that are related to that. As far as your um, your photographs, they do look clear, so that's good. And looking at a few of your other items, um, some of these you need to take just a little bit, like a half step back, and take a photo take a photograph where you can see the whole um, the whole item. It's getting cut a little bit here at the top and the bottom, and you also see that here. So I would make that alteration there. Uh, like I said, the wreath, this kind of looks like a smaller version. Um, maybe even go one further and add a larger option of that would be a good thing to do. So, uh, and then again, your photograph here. Make sure all, all of your photographs are horizontal. This one looks like it's a vertical photograph as your main photo, and it's okay to use those as photographs, but for your main photo, you want a horizontal photograph so that it fills the full box. And then this one only has uh, one picture of it, so I would add some more pictures of it. Your details are a little bit short. Add a little bit about the process and uh, top up on your titles. And so that's what I would suggest for you. And renew frequently and see how that works for you. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're gonna focus on For the Honor Forge. They're located in California and they've been on Etsy since 2015. Now, first of all, props for having this banner up here. That's a nice photograph, I like that. Let's take a look at your sales. You have 188 sales, so you've been very active on Etsy during the time that you've been on here. And uh, you've got a fair amount of shop favorites. Let's see what kind of items that you're selling. Uh, let's see, the leather bracers. I see a pair of those have sold. Your recurve bows, you've sold quite a few of those. Ninja sword. And so I'm seeing a lot of your items are uh, the same type of items are being sold, which is really good. And you have eight pages of sold listings, which is uh, fantastic that, that you have that much history you can look back on. And it gives you something to go off of. So uh, here you've sold some wall hooks, um, a medieval style blade, and again with the, the ninja swords and uh, let's see, a quiver, you've sold one of those. So the items that you are selling frequently, I would try to make more listings similar to those and I think I saw you had about 20, 21 items in your shop. So I would try to bring that up. Uh, try to get 40 to 50, really. And I know it takes time to build that up. Um, just try to add a few more every week if you're able to. I'm sure since you, you probably do a lot of shows as well, I'm guessing. But if you're able to keep adding to your items, that would be good. Uh, looking here. Let's see, excuse me. All right. We have, so first thing I really like about your shop is you have very striking photographs. You've done a great job with the photographs, uh, especially like the fact that you're using costumes and you've got kind of this, this wooded um, trees and things like that in the background. So. Props on the photographs. Great job. It really sets the tone for your listings. 
uh, let's see over here your titles a little short I think you could add a few more tags in there separated either by asterisks or um, slashes uh, sorry um, and then additionally your deep your details I really like that because you've gone a lot into the details you kind of set the mood with the details of the item and that's a fantastic way of doing it additionally you go ahead and add the specifics uh, like the link and thing like that now going down to your tags it looks like you've used all the tags you're allotted um, some of these you may want to go in under your Etsy stats and see which one of your tags are performing and which ones aren't especially look at this on your listings that are doing extremely well and make sure you use all of those tags throughout um, all of those similar listings that you're able to uh, one thing I noticed is you don't have any cosplay related tags um, and since that's your main overall theme of your store I would add some of those in there so let's let's look at a few more items so there we go we have the 23 items uh, another thing I might suggest since you sell a lot of the bows might be to sell a, uh, a special hook or bracket for displaying those on the wall when they're not in use uh, could could be an option there so very nicely done with the photographs that are outdoors this one here I might try to do something um, maybe you could set it up against a tree or try to go with the outdoor theme to tie that one in but overall you're doing an excellent job and and you are selling so if anything um, try to repost more frequently perhaps if you're not doing that yet so that is what I recommend for you all right now we're gonna look at 42 VMT this is a newer shop and located here in Ohio no sales yet and just joined this year so uh, off the bat here I would say go ahead and add a picture of yourself under shop owner and over here um, <clears throat> the picture for your shop I would do something that kind of ties in with the majority of the products you're selling and going down and looking at your listings it says you have 10 items so far oh also up here I see that you made an announcement on July 1st new items on the way wands jewelry boxes clocks and crafting supplies so I want to encourage you to keep adding a few items every week also you get to categorize them into uh, categories which helps when you have a larger shop so you can start doing that with some of your jewelry and things like that um, let's see I see some of your craft stuff you have the geo boards some matchsticks some jewelry uh, let's take a look at your walking sticks and uh, so let's see your title your title is a decent length that's good the details you've got a decent amount of details here for it that's good let's see here and then also you had a couple more of those in your shop which is good also that gives your customers some options now coming down to your tags I see you only have three tags uh, you need to add more it needs to be things like walking stick uh, maybe hand carved walking stick poplar walking stick um, just some different variations of the word walking stick and I have a video on this in my Etsy playlist but to find tags that are relevant to your item you just start typing in uh, something like walking stick and then just see what else is on that list there that's applicable to your items and that will help you that will give you an idea of what kind of tags you can use and what's popular for being searched so I recommend that there uh, going back and taking a look at another one of your listings maybe one of your jewelry pieces uh, let's see jewelry is definitely it's gonna be all about um, the display for your jewelry so you may want to get a actual 
uh, one of those like velvet neck things where you can display your jewelry and get a picture of it. Something like that on there might help you um, in, to get to have the necklace laid out like it would actually look on a neck. Your description is decent. Maybe you could add a couple more sentences about the process that it took for you to make the product. And then down here you still have room for a few more tags. So so I would work I would work on your tags uh, and maybe try taking some more photographs. And uh, I take I take about like 20 photographs of one product, different backgrounds and things like that to kind of see. And then I look back and see what really works best and portrays my item in the best light. Um, so that's what I recommend for you. All right, let's look at With Iron and Oak. They're based out of Iowa and they just started their shop. Uh, let's see, shop owner here. Uh, I've heard it said before that if you actually use your face that customers can connect with that more. So consider doing the shop owner a picture of yourself. Um, the dice, if you really like that, you could put that here for your shop photograph or you could do kind of a collage over here of some of your items. You've got four items. That's a good start. I would keep adding to those. Um, let's see. You've got a skull bottle opener, a split cross keychain, steel dice, and a forged bottle opener keychain. So I kind of see you have the same theme going throughout the pieces, which is, it's neat when you can tie that together. Uh, looking at your school bottle, bottle opener, you have, let's see here, your details is a little bit short. I would try to expand on that, uh, share the size of it perhaps. And you can also do, it looks like this is brass brushed, maybe offer some other options for either a, like just a standard oil finish or also like a brightened steel finish. And you can make those alternative listings, make those separate listings. The still dice, you can, again, you can make uh, different faces or um, just some alternatives of the steel dice to help start filling your store with things. Down here, you're a little short on tags. I would try to add more tags. I would do like hand forged bottle opener, uh, forged bottle opener, things like that. And again, if you go up and under the tags and you start typing in bottle opener, it's going to show come up with some of the um, popular search terms there and you can tie those in if they're applicable. So with four items, you're off to a good start. Keep adding to that. Additionally, some of your photographs here, it looks like they might be like have a slight fog or something over them. Uh, so just check your camera and make sure the lens is clean when you go to start taking photographs. All right, now we're looking at Black Bear Forge located in Colorado. They've been on Etsy since 2011 and they've had 69 sales. We're gonna start by taking a look at their sales. Let's see, here we see a forged chisel. Uh, there's quite a few hold fast, hand forged hook, door pull, a fire poker, some more hold fast. I see that the leaf design is popular for you. A fro, um, some more hold fast. We'll go ahead and take a look at another page, some more door pulls. And I see some of those woodworking tools are pretty popular for you. So great. That is, that can be a niche for you. And uh, some chest hinges. Those kind of have the similar theme like the door pulls do. So that's neat. Let's go look at the items you currently have in your store. Now I see you have the categories organized, that's great. The woodworking, household, knives, axes, merchandise, and hardware. That's great. Let's see here. You've got, let's see you've added a claw hammer, an axe, let's see a planing stop, and adds. Uh, so you've added quite a variety of items and that's good. That'll help bring more exposure and more 
and more potential customers through your door. That is good. Um, let's see. I did notice your hold fast. That leaf style is particularly uh, popular for you. Now, what I would do is I would make some other variations of this. If you can do, uh, if it doesn't change the functionality, maybe come up with something where at the end you have something else besides the leaf on the end of it. Uh, maybe somewhere in there have a twist in the upper part of the hook or maybe even part of it could be an alternating twist, again, so long as it doesn't harm the functionality. Looking at your title, uh, it looks like you've used most of your title there, which is good. A uh, hold fast pair of one inch leaf style hold fast for woodworking, wood bench hold down, clamp hand forged. Those, that's very descriptive. You've got a lot of tags in there. Some of that, um, it could make sense, or it could make a little easier to read across if you had some asterisks or uh, forward slashes in there to separate the phrases that you meant to go together. And let's look at your pictures. I like how you have the pictures where it's in use. That's nice. Again, you showing here you show the size of it. That's good also. So I like your photographs. You have five of them. Let's look at your details. Let's see, you talk about the size of the hold fast and uh, what size workbench it's meant to go with. So you've got a good bit of details there. That's good. And then down at the bottom, uh, you've got some of your tags here. Blacksmith, hold fast, hold fast with a space. Good. That's, that's sometimes you need to put that space in there to help get the extra search terms. Hold down. That's another alternative woodworking tool. So you're doing great on the tags. And so you're doing good there. Uh, so if you're if you're having trouble getting sales, what I would do, make sure you're renewing your items on a frequent basis. And also the items that you are selling, make some alternatives to those. Uh, slightly different si style or size, uh, different finish on the metal. And go ahead and just make those a whole separate listing so that you're getting even further exposure. And just keep, still keep adding some new items and trying to find uh, other niche uh, that you can that you can fill. And so if that's woodworking tools, uh, keep working with that, you know. And you can try some other things as well. But overall, it looks like you are doing good. You've stuck with it and you've added more listings and you've started expanding your shop. So good job there. Good job. If you want, um, yeah, I would say overall you're doing well. You've got 32 items and your customers are happy. These are, like, you're getting five star reviews. So just keep up the great work and, uh, you know, I like your shop. That's, that's nice in Colorado. Um, so yeah, keep up the great work and just keep working at it and you'll start seeing the increase of sales. All right, next we're looking at BST Custom Forge. Located in Virginia, they've had three sales and been on Etsy since 2016. Let's go ahead and look at the three sales that they've had. They've sold some wrench hooks and also some decorative small horseshoe nail hooks. We'll go back and kind of review the items you have. Uh, I like the logo. That's nice. And a shop owner picture. Consider doing a picture of yourself there. Um, let's see. Your announcement. Uh, perhaps you should go ahead and update one for this year. And just kind of, uh, if you have any new products, you can announce it there. You have 15 items. That's off to a good start. Uh, over here, your categories. I see all the only other category you have is tool. You could go ahead and add some such as gift items and add your bottle opener and your cross to it and your flower. And additionally, you could do a category for your knives. And what that will help with is that when somebody is looking at one of your list listings, Etsy will promote the other items in your category off to the right hand side. And I'll show you on what I'm talking about here in a moment. 
let's look at your hand forged split cross and see what we have there. See, it looks like you have a, let's see, your title could be a little bit longer. I would try to put a few more keywords up in your title. And then your details, go ahead and add like some size, the size to it, and maybe, um, maybe a little bit more about yourself and the details. And then down here in the tags, your tags are okay. Um, you might be able to go with um, a few more things that are cross related or wall decor or uh, sculpture, um, things along those nature. I think um, if you type in cross, it'll give you some ideas that might be applicable. Um, cross sculpture, yeah, that one would be on there. So you could add that as one of your tags. Going back and looking at your items, let's see here. I think you did a pretty good job on most of your photographs. I like how you tied the rock theme in with your knives. That's a nice natural background for those. Um, a couple of your photographs, like the split cross here, I would, you need to be able to see the whole thing. It's kind of cutting off the top here, so maybe try taking a different picture for that one. And maybe for your hooks, maybe something a little better lighted. That's a little bit dark. And then your board here, uh, try to get a central photograph for that. And again, you you focus on the photos. Like I take like 20 photos of one item so I can pick the best photographs. And just because that's the closest representation that the customer gets to see since they don't actually get to hold the item in their hand before they purchase it. So I think you're off to a good start. Your prices, they look reasonable. If you've been selling uh, the wrench hooks and the uh, twisted hooks, you could also try selling those in like individually for slightly higher or even um, even in group of five, or you could even do a bigger group. This group is for a lot of 10. You could also do like a lot of 25 and do a bulk thing like that. The next shop we're looking at is My Joy of Working Steel. Shop owner is Graham, Pic Graham Pepper. I like your picture by the way. And also you need to add a shop picture here. So you've had two sales and you've been on Etsy since this year. So let's let, look at your two sales. So one's been a lot of four hooks and one's been a lot of 20 hooks. So that's good. Those are uh, starting to sale for you. Now looking here, you have your several lots of photograph, um, sorry, of hooks in different quantities. That's good. And then you've also added a leather key tag. So just looking at one of your hook listings here, It looks like you have the one photograph and then you have a short description here. I would add a little bit more in the description, either a little bit about yourself or the forging process and uh, the sizes, um, which I know you have that up here in the title, but just go ahead and repeat that again in the details and that'll be good. And as far as it goes with your tags, uh, there's space down here for a lot more tags. So you need to do things like forged hooks, hand forged hooks, metal hooks, decorative metal hooks. Those are some ideas for you as far as it goes with that. And additionally, I would say uh, work, focus on getting some more items in your shop. And also uh, try to get some photographs here without the shadows and maybe just a little bit closer and I take a ton of photographs, I play with it on different backgrounds, and just doing that then you can select, you know, from once you're sitting down at your computer, you can select the photographs that best represent your items. Alright, we're looking at the Chica Sunshine Shop, located in California, opened August of 2017, so not that long ago, and already 24 sales, uh, it's blocked here so I can't look at your sales, or anyway, it wasn't activated. 
So we'll look at your reviews at least and see what kind of reviews you're getting on. Uh, you got a five star on a cake topper. That's good. Another five star on, they said, the cutest custom boxes ever. And also a five star on some Hello Kitty mugs. And <clears throat> let's see here if we can see the rest of the reviews. Uh, Cute Sunny uh, gave you five stars and five stars on the cake topper. So it looks like that the cake toppers um, seem to be a repetitive item for you. It's hard to tell with just the uh, five reviews that I'm able to see here. But you, ha you have your banner up. That looks fantastic. You have 63 items already up, which is great. You've been going all out getting your shop ready. And you have an announcement here. Uh, go ahead and update it for this month if you, you are able to. You've got your things neatly organized in categories. That's great. That'll help your customers find it. Let's look at a couple of your items. Here's one of your cake toppers. And so you've used everything that's in the description. And uh, up here in the title, you've used all your characters, so that's good. Your details as well. It looks like you've gone into pretty good detail there. And going down and looking at your tags, you've used all your tags as well. And you've done groom cake topper, bride cake topper, anniversary cake topper. You've done quite a variety, so that's good. It looks like you're doing really good there, and your photographs are top-notch. You're showing your different uh, colors you can offer it in, which is the gold or the silver. Now, um, one thing you can do is you can add a variation here where they can select which color they are ordering from you. Instead of having to uh, email you, they can just select that there. Looking at your, let's look at your little boxes here, your customized boxes as well. Uh, I see that you offer a style. So that's, yeah, that's the variations I'm talking about that you can use in your favor. And you've got several photographs there. So that looks good. So as far as your photographs and in general, you are really doing well, your tags and everything. If you are having trouble, um, if you're getting slow sales or something like that, what I would recommend is make sure you're you're renewing several of your items every single day. For your shop size of 63, I would probably say 10 items a day you need to be renewing. And just go to the bottom of the list and renew from there, and that will cycle out your items. And that's my recommend. Let's look at Busy Bee Organic Shop. Located in Alabama, they've had 13 sales and started in 2017. Let's take a look at which their 13 sales have been. So we have some buckwheat honey, some wood polish, some leather conditioner, some blossom honey, some buckwheat honey, some orange blossom honey, and some Alabama wildflower hon honey and raw honey. So quite a bit of your um, varieties of honey are selling, which is good. And some of your beeswax products are also selling, which is terrific. I like your logo you have here and your shop owner photo is good. You have your items categorized in categories. That makes them easy to access. Uh, 17 items, that's good. Let's see, a lot of these are some of those honeys like we are talking about, and you also have some skincare products, skin moisturizer, your beeswax products like we are mentioning, and some soap. So let's take a look at, we'll try the Soothing Paw Balm. We see, see, we only have one photograph here. I would try to do several more photographs, kind of maybe set some different scenes, and 
get a few different angles, maybe close up, far away, 110 by itself, maybe next to like a hand mirror or uh, a purse or something like that. Um, your details, it is a bit short here. You need to say what the quantity is or what the size of the canister is. And down here, it looks like you have space to use more tags. So you need to research some more tags that'll work well for your items. So for example, let's see if I can pull any up. Uh, a, yeah, balm and tin. That's one you should use, balm container. Uh, some things along those nature would help draw even more traffic to your products. Also looking here, let's look at one of your honey, a two pound jar of honey. It is looking at your jar of honey, orange blossom honey, two pound jar. You've got your quantity. You've got a good good description there. That's good. Let's see here. And then you've also used all your tags. So it looks like you're doing good there. Uh, you've got two pound honey, pint honey, raw honey, Florida honey. So you've got quite a few of your tags there. I'm just typing in honey. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, I'll see. So actually, uh, so since you do honey products and beeswax products, if you do any handcrafting of products that would go well with this, like honey dipper, or you could make that and potentially offer it with your products. Let's see, as far as beeswax, typing in beeswax, that gives you an idea of some of the top searched results for beeswax. Uh, beeswax tea lights, beeswax killer, uh, candle pillar. So if you also offer some candles, that could be a potential product that you could offer as well. Now, just looking over your page in general, see here, I like this photograph you did up here. It's kind of showcases several of your items. Now down here, I think we need to work with the photographs a little bit, maybe get a little further away. Um, and uh, let's see, maybe try to do a, maybe like a nice wooden background might be good for these. Uh, kind of give it a homey feel, maybe some baskets uh, in, the, in the background as well. And I think a lot of your products, and I see you kind of did that here with the lip balm. I think you could kind of tie that theme throughout your store. These are these photographs here are a little bit dark. I would like to see with a lot of your products, even your soap, you could do this. I would like to see the consistent background and feel for your products. So if you give that a try, I think that would help bring unity to your items. And with 17 items, that's a good start maybe consider a few other items you could continue adding such as beeswax candles and things of this nature. All right, I'm gonna wrap up with a few Etsy tips. You may have heard me say some of these before in some of my Etsy videos, but it doesn't hurt to top up on them. My first tip is to renew frequently. You've probably heard me say this multiple times throughout this video. I renew about 20 items every day for the side shop we have which is normally 70 to 80 items in our shop at any given time. You need, to re you need to cycle all of your items throughout your shop at least once a week. Have great photos. Your customer doesn't get to see your object or your product in person. The only thing that they have to get a feel of it is your photographs. So when you take photos, take a bunch of them Take them on different backgrounds with different lighting, some with props, some without props. And then when you sit down to make your listing or to edit it, you have a pile to choose from and you can choose what works best for you and what works best in that situation. 
My next tip is to keep adding new items on a weekly or monthly basis. Try to set a goal for yourself if you're building up your shop on an amount that you would like to see and how frequently that you would like to add those items. Additionally, make sure you can look at what is selling and offer similar products to that and make more listings to get more exposure and traffic. And my last one, use tag power. Tags are your friend. You want to use all of your tags that you're allowed and use tags of terms that people are searching for. This will help get your items found. You can use your Etsy dashboard to see already what people are finding your products with, which keywords they're using, and then use those and try to include them throughout your listings as much as possible, which includes your title, your description, and additionally, your area to enter tags. So thank you for watching this video. I have quite a few of Etsy videos for you if you're new or you're still trying to grow your shop. I have some on search engine optimization as well as making listings and I have one on doing basic photographs and in the future I will try to have a more advanced photo taking video. So if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to either write back or make a video on it. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.